By the end of this lecture, you will have Vue.js 3 app up and running on your computer start to finish with step-by-step -step instructions from scratch using white. The first step is to install Node.js and NPM Node Package Manager on your computer. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript code outside of a web browser. NPM on the other hand, Node Package Manager is a command line tool that allows you to install, manage and share reusable JavaScript code packages such as View Router and Axios and so on, which I will talk about later in this course. The good news is we can install Node.js and NPM at the same time. The first thing is to download Node and NPM into your computer. Open up your favorite browser and visit the official Node.js website by typing https colon slash slash nodejs.org in the address bar. Then navigate to the downloads page at the top. At the time of this recording, the latest version of Node.js is 18.16.1 and the NPM version is 9.5.1. You may see a higher version of it if you watch this lecture in the future. On the downloads page, choose the LTS option which stands for long term support which is also recommended for most users. Once you select the LTS option, there are three ways you can download Node.js installer to your computer depending on what operating system your computer has. I use Mac, so I am going to click on the Mac OS installer to download. This will take a few seconds to finish downloading the Node.js installer package file into my computer. Here is the file with dot package extension inside my downloads folder. Next, I need to install Node.js and NPM to my computer. To do that, first I'm going to double click the Node.js package file to open up the installer. Click continue, continue, agree, then install. At this stage, your computer will ask you to enter the admin password to install Node.js because you are basically installing a new software into your computer. Once everything goes well, you when everything goes well, you will see the message saying the installation was completed successfully. Now you can close the window, then it will ask you to move the node installer to the trash. Since I have already installed Node.js using this installer, I do not need it anymore. So I'm going to move it to the trash by hitting the move to trash button. At this stage, I have downloaded the Node.js installer and used the Node.js installer to install Node.js and NPM into my computer. Now let's see if it's installed properly and what versions of Node.js and NPM installed in my computer. To do that, open up the terminal window on the Mac, command prompt on the Windows, then type node space hyphen v command. This will show the currently installed version of Node.js. Hit enter and it says v18.16.1. Similarly, I can check the npm version as well. Yes, you have guessed it right. npm space hyphen v. Perfect. At this stage, I have successfully installed Node.js and the latest version of Node.js and npm to my computer. The second step is to create an actual Vue.js 3 project using Vite. There are multiple ways to create a Vue project in your computer, but Vite is one of the easiest and fastest ways to do that. So what is Vite? Vite is one of the popular build tools, at least at the time of this recording, that helps you to get up and running with a Vue or React project in minutes. It's a great tool for beginners who are just getting started with Vue.js because it's lightweight and optimized for speed 
and developer experience especially if we are building an app that is small to medium size to create a view project using white all you need is a single command so open up the command prompt or terminal window then type npm space create space white at latest space the project name i'm going to call it view project in this example the project name can be anything but has to be url friendly if you have two words must have hyphen in between hit enter it will ask a couple of questions the first one it asks me to select what framework i would like to use in this project of course it's going to be a view then it will ask me what variable that i would like to use i'm going to choose javascript hit enter and you can see the message done it also gives me three commands under let's take a look at them one by one the first command is cd space view hyphen project which is basically telling me to go to the project directory because right now i am in the desktop directory in order to use the second and the third commands i will have to first get inside my project directory so as soon as i type cd space view hyphen project and hit enter the directory name changed from desktop to my project name that means i am inside the view project now i can use the second and third commands the second command is npm install or npm i which will install all the npm packages that the project depends on we also call them dependencies you can either use npm install command or npm i and both do the same for installing dependencies for the project once you hit enter it may take a few seconds installing all the dependencies once it's done you can see the message had 26 packages and found zero vulnerabilities something like that and it also returns to the project directory you can also see the npm install command create a folder called node hyphen modules inside the root directory that has all the dependencies for the view project sometimes you will get an npm cache error when you run the npm i or npm install command that says your cache folder contains root owned files due to a bug in previous versions of npm which has since been addressed something like that to fix that all you have to do is to run a single command inside your command prompt or terminal window so i'm going to type npm space cache space clean space hyphen hyphen force hit enter you might want to add sudo in front of this command to get it work and it may ask you the admin password once it's entered npm install command will work let's try it again hit enter now that i have installed all the dependencies that are needed for the view project let's run the view project on the local host server next using the third command npm run dev make sure that i'm the root directory then type npm run dev sometimes you may get an error when you try to execute npm run dev command the error may say something like failed to load post css config to fix that issue create a new file called post css.config.cjs file in the project folder and add a couple of lines of code inside i'm going to open up the project inside the visual studio code editor and feel free to use your own favorite editor file open folder choose the project folder now right click the project navigator on the left and create a new file called post css.config.cjs and hit enter inside that file type module dot export equals opening closing curly braces hit save now let's rerun the app i could use the command prompt or terminal window like before or i can simply use the inbuilt terminal window inside the visual studio code editor this time i'm going to use the inbuilt terminal window to run the app instead of using the external terminal window go to visual studio code and 
choose terminal at the top and a new terminal make sure i'm in the project root directory and type npm run dev hit enter and the view project is running on the local host server with the port 5173 in my computer you may see the different port number that's okay open up the browser and go to that local host url and here is our very first vue.js3 project up and running using byte